Hello, today we are here for a new episode of A Chat with the ITL Alumni, a series of interviews with former interns of ITL Group. My name is Alice Miraglia and I'm a marketing intern at ITL Group. And today I'm here with Irene Pepe. Hi everyone. Marketing and communication manager to interview Brunilda Tushku. Hello everyone. Marketing specialist and sales development representative at Actility in Paris. So Brunilda, could you please introduce yourself? Yeah, absolutely. So thank you so much for having me today. First of all, it's a great pleasure to meet you, Alice, and to, of course, see you again, Irene. So at the moment, I'm living in Paris. I'm working in Activity, which is a connectivity company, and I'm working as a marketing specialist and a sales development representative. I basically I have a dual role. I started uh, through an internship here in Paris as a marketing specialist and I was taking care of all the content creation, uh, the management of the events, uh, PR writing, uh, webinars and everything in 360 degrees that include marketing. And as soon as my internship finished, they proposed me the double role as a marketing specialist. So still doing what I was doing in my internship but adding even my sales uh, part so basically uh, it consists in uh, finding new customers prospecting them uh, conversation with them finding what are their pain points and of course like introducing them uh, our solution in short storytell basically what my company does uh, is that we work in the connectivity part for the IOTs so the internet of things it's a very different world for me. I'm learning and there is still everything to learn, but it's super interesting because uh, basically we can uh, implement our solutions in everything that uh, it's around us. So it's very international company and it's always super stimulating. So yes, I'm very happy to live in Paris. Congratulations. Sounds very interesting. Thank so, you. Really interesting. Absolutely. And um, coming back to ITL Alumni, uh, ITL Alumni aims to be a community that can serve as a valuable professional network, fostering connections and providing ongoing support. And you had a major role in creating the community of ITL Alumni. Uh, could you please tell us how the idea first came of a chat with ITL Alumni to you? Um, yeah, uh, thank you so much for asking. Well, this was uh, an idea that uh, me and Irene, I would like to share the initiative uh, that I had with my mentor uh, that we had at the beginning of my internship. Unfortunately, when I started, there was COVID. It was 2021 and it was a very hard moment. So I feel that in that moment where everybody was alone, it they needed a community. They needed to find a shared point where they could... Uh, talk, they could express themselves, they could say what they were doing. And even because it was a moment where um, a tough moment, I think that sharing their experience and finding a community with a common interest, in, it was important. It was essential in this moment. So whenever this idea came, it had the purpose of, uh, uh, first of all, being inspiring for people. So you could see everyone where they started. They started from ITL and then what they did. And it could be aspirational for others that they maybe did not know what to do, or maybe they were curious to know what you could do from one point to another. And it was super interesting. And something else I really believe in is network. This is a very important purpose to make new connections and make networks so that they are very important. And more I go into the world of uh, the work uh, and so on, I can see that connections are very important. And to build an, a strong network, uh, it's super essential. So we've already covered the topic of community building. And, oh. uh, <laughs> and I wanted to ask you, since you've already been the moderator for the ITL alumni meeting uh, of December uh, 2021, uh, why do you think values such as, well, you already, you've already covered community building, but also knowledge sharing are important? Yeah, well, they're super important because uh, 
like I believe that uh, when it, like sometimes me I can go I can know something that other people don't know and that other people know something that I don't know and it's very important to, to share like our knowledge to share what we do to share like uh, the purpose uh, together I really believe in connection between people I really believe in uh, being inspired from people so this is the most important thing and a community such as the one that we build in ITL it's very strong and uh, it's important because you will always have a common point you know whenever you whenever you're gonna go uh, ahead with the working experience Finding a common point, for example, oh, we did the same internship at ITL. It's it's gonna be a common point, and I can see it even in, with my job right now that we are always looking for common points, such as partners, such as people in common, and it's super important for the future. I believe so. And thank you for your answer. And could you tell us uh, about your internship at ITL overall? Yeah, uh, well, honestly talking, it was my first internship in, in marketing. I was studying in Milano, I was studying public relations and uh, internet communication in, at Ulm University. And it was actually my first time I was doing a, an actual work in what I was studying. And I believe that that, that taught me a thousand times more than every exam at the university <laughs> like uh, being close to Irene being close to such an inspirational person such as uh, Alessandro it was essential for me to understand what I was going to do in life and to make me understand more of what I was lacking what I was not uh, to direct myself. I was at the time 23, 22, 23, and you're super young. You don't know really what to do. And having someone like Irene that was directing you, it, it was very, very important. Unfortunately, as I said, it was COVID time, so we could not be at the office so much at the time, so I could not really leave 100% the office experience, but at the same time, me and Irene, we were trying to work very closely, we were trying to do as much as we could, because at the time it was curfew, you remember, it was everything super hard, but still, like, it made me understand a lot, like, uh, what an office work it's like and uh, what I was liking, what I was not liking. It was very important for me. Thank you. And first of all, I agree, absolutely. Uh, it's super stimulating being here. And yeah. since you said that um, you did your internship experience during COVID, I wanted to ask you what was your experience in Budapest in COVID time like? Okay. Well, it was tough. Uh, it was tough because the regulation at the time, they were very, like, tough. And I honestly remember that at the beginning, uh, whenever I arrived, I had to do a COVID test before in Italy and then a COVID test when I, come, I came to Budapest. And then they didn't tell me that I actually had to go to the police to... <laughs> That's a funny story I like to remember and I like to say in my coffee times. <laughs> So basically, I did not report myself to the police and the police came to my house and they, were, they couldn't find me because I, for me, I was like free. And so they were like, oh, my God, what are you doing? You are going to spread COVID. And I was like, no, but I have my negative test. <laughs> I was like so afraid. So it was like Hungarian government, is, it was very, very tough at the time for COVID regulations. It was curfew at 8 p.m., so you could not do a lot. Uh, the offices, they were closed. It was it was a very tough moment. But I honestly think that it was the best time I could go to Budapest because I could enjoy the city without the tourism. I could really enjoy the city, the Hungarian people, the environment around, you know, not a lot of people, you could walk. It was really leaving the city, you know. Now, instead with the tourism, that now they open the borders and so on, it's like unlivable. But yeah, I, I really would love to come back whenever I have time because I would like to see it now how it is. Since then, I, I couldn't have the time to come. And do you have some specific memories that you would like to share with us about Budapest and about your internship? Honestly, the one I remember the most are the vegan place we were going to for lunchtime. <laughs> I hope it's a good one. 
<laughs> yeah, because you made me discover the vegan uh, food. Uh, and I'm like, this is not bad. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> I remember the Pilates. So if you're still doing Pilates, please. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> no, jokes apart, the jokes apart. I have a very good memories, honestly. Like uh, ITL community alumni was uh, one of my biggest achievement that I always like like to show off whenever I'm like having a chat with someone. I like to show off, like, look what I did when I was an intern. So. Um, I will say that uh, building this was very creative, uh, so I was really enjoying it. Uh, and uh, yeah, of course, like Budapest as a city, I was liking uh, the international environment I uh, had around me. So it was very stimulating for me. And which parts of yourself do you think have grown during that period? Well, I think the sense of responsibility, because uh, as I was saying, it was COVID time, so I could not be at the office all the time, but still I had my task and I had to achieve them. So whether I was doing it now, whether I was doing it later, I had to have it done. So it was, it built a lot of my organization skills and my sense of responsibility. Like I have to do that. I will do it the best I can. So, yeah, this is something I will always bring with me. And do you think having done your first real internship, let's say, abroad, had, like, help you, helped you, um, like, open your way toward the world? Because you're, you're, you're living in Paris right now. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> Honestly, uh, yeah, uh, I understood, like, going through Budapest, I understood that, uh, I mean, I love Italy. I come from Italy. I come from Tuscany. It's, uh, I love it. But I understood that now that I'm younger, I would like to explore more as much as I can and then go back to my own town, like, with the time. In fact, I basically never worked in Italy besides in the summer, my summer jobs, uh, and uh, I, as soon as I came, as soon as I graduated, I was like, uh, okay, I'm going to do my master abroad. And I came to Paris. Paris, Paris, I would say it's tougher. It's very a tough city. It's, uh, it's not like Budapest. Budapest is, um, I would say, more easygoing, more like uh, leave it uh, and let it be. Instead, Paris is a bit tough. Uh, French people are tough uh, you have to express and I don't know the language so I did not know now I know <laughs> thanks god so um, and here it's more a job like a real proper job with big responsibilities so I think like the first push in Budapest was uh, essential for me to understand that uh, I have a word and I'm young and I, I can do it you know and that's what I want the other like intern to know that uh, they cannot stop to 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 dream if they have a dream or if they have a place that they dream to live in like do not stop yourself like you're young we are in 2023 we can do and go wherever we want so it's important to do it now before it's too late yeah I completely agree. I think if, if you stay at home, you only live one life. If you travel, you can like experience multiple. So, um, and I wanted also to ask you, um, Budapest aside, uh, what part of your work at ITL has helped you, um, like in your current job or in previous jobs you had? Um, well, I would say that in my marketing part of my job, because now, as I told you, I two jobs it's basically like me the basic uh, of what I'm doing now like uh, literally what I was doing at ATL is something I'm doing now in uh, in my current job so I already came prepared you know like I came like uh, social media was something I used I knew how to manage like some small webinars and so on so we were trying I, I was already prepared I, I already knew what I was going to do and they did not need to explain me anything so it's a real job that you literally learn everything and for the future if it's what you want to do of course because maybe someone understand that it's something they don't want to do but it was for me the case. 
you arrive prepared, mm -hmm. like 100% uh, ready, you know, so would in everything. So overall, would you advise this uh, experience and opportunity to Absolutely. the people that are listening to us? Absolutely. Absolutely, because um, overall, for mm -hmm. all the young people, such as you, such as me still, so first of all, I think it's a combo of uh, good points. Uh, first of all, you're in Budapest, it's in Europe, but uh, it's uh, a very like uh, easygoing city. It's super beautiful, like unbelievably beautiful Budapest. And uh, it's, uh, I mean, it's in Europe, uh, we all share the same culture, but at the same time you're abroad, so you start to understand the like different culture, how they work, and more of all, Hungarian people. Hungarian people, they're not simple. <laughs> it's a very international city, so you can have friends from all over the world. I had friends from France, uh, uh, Spain, uh, England, Belgium, everywhere in the world, so it's very international. But most of all, like uh, ITL, it's super organized company that has a lot of initiatives so you can boost your creativity so much like if you're a creative person there you can literally bring your ideas and something very important that i found in itl is that they value the interns a lot like they look for your quality they take that part and they bring it up. They help you to develop it. And it's super important whenever you're intern because whenever you maybe work with big companies, you're just a number. Instead there, like they take you, they understand where you're good at and they boost your qualities. So it's very important for an intern and a young intern. First of all, I would like to thank Brunilda for what she said. I'm really uh, speechless and uh, very happy that you enjoyed and your internship that you felt uh, that we valued. We did, and uh, you were uh, really uh, a proactive, uh, energetic person. Uh, your presence here was uh, very important for everyone, not just uh, for our team. I think uh, everybody uh, felt your energy and your um, desire to learn. And of course, uh, the impact on ITL alumni, it's uh, what got more visible. But I think that also the other things that you did, even though they were not publicly visible outside, visible outside of the company, uh, they were also uh, successful and well done. So uh, only good things uh, to say. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank mm -hmm. you. And yeah, you should come back because uh, Budapest is beautiful and I think uh, you will see it with different eyes, especially if you will come just for uh, a holiday after your experience in Paris, you'll be able to compare and uh, you will look the supermarket or the Hungarian language with a different uh, eye. <laughs> But honestly, I like to compare a bit Budapest to Paris. It's, I feel like it's a little uh, Paris Budapest, you know, like along the Danube. It looks a lot like uh, along the Seine River. And it's very, very similar. No, it was called the Paris of the East. Exactly. Paris. Yes. I don't remember who said that, but uh, it's often described as the Paris of the East. So yeah. Yeah, from an architectural point of view, the heritage. So yeah, you're right. And I wait in Paris, of course. Like if you want to come <laughs> visit, uh, more than a pleasure to be your Cicerone, as we say. <laughs> we will, we will. So thank you very much to um, both of you. And uh, Brunilda, would you like to leave uh, a, a message to our uh, new future interns too? Okay, uh, yes, um, I would like to tell them to enjoy every moment or every second of their internship. It's uh, their first uh, approach to the work life is going to be tough. It's going to be sometimes they're going to wake up and say, no, I don't want to work anymore. I want to go back to school. <laughs> but it's to enjoy every single moment because it's uh, the beginning to do not lose uh, even for the future like uh, the, the anger like this is the most important thing I think uh, for someone that is approaching now the world of work uh, to don't lose the anger of learning more 
of pushing their limits because they, it's now their moment. It's literally now and push it as much as you can. On that note, <laughs> I would uh, uh, say goodbye to everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Alice.